Is Bitcoin mining worth it in December 2018? Let's mine away. Hello guys and welcome back to Bit True to your host Mark Luther. In today's video we're doing another cryptocurrency mining video. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin mining and basically just look at the profitability of Bitcoin mining currently and see how profitable is it to mine Bitcoin? Okay, you know with ASICs. Okay, this is all about ASICs. So there's a website called ASIC Miner Value. I found it. It is really helpful. I don't know if you know it, guys, but no one recommended it for me at least for now. So this is better than going to companies like going to Bitmain and looking for a miner. Th this way, you just find everything here on the search bar and it shows you the profitability algorithm noise i don't know why there that is there but anyways power withdraw okay hash rate and release date so uh, the most profitable one is obelisk okay that is mining sia coin or sia coin i don't know how you pronounce that and it is really mining profitably at one point it was like what 20 30 dollars or something i'm not sure but that was back when it got released Okay, released, I mean when it got shipped to people before it got released, really. So anyways, guys, starting with the miners, we are going to look at the three most profitable miners, okay, by names. And we have it from three different companies, I think. You have the eBit E11++. Firstly, you have this from eBank. This is the first time I hear about a company from this name. This is why this website is better, because it shows you some companies that I never heard about, okay, like FF Miner, I mean, that's the first time I hear about them. Anyways, SHA-256 algorithm, this is a Bitcoin mining algorithm, okay, and it is mining at a maximum of 44 terahashes per second, give or take, okay, because when something tells you that you're making such and such hash rate, especially when it comes to marketing, just don't trust it, unless it is, you know, an experience from a user, then I think that is like at least 99% legit for a power consumption of 1980 watts. So this Bitcoin ASIC, okay, this Bitcoin mining ASIC is not the most profitable from them, but I think, you know, it is not really profitable for 1.60 a day. If we go down here, it shows you the Bitcoin mining pools right here. These are not really important right now. Where can we buy this? So here you can pre-order it. We need something in stock since if we keep waiting, you know, the numbers are going to change and all that stuff. So here is the website, okay, whole mining wholesale dot eu. Now I don't know how trusted this website is, but since it's like you know listed on that website and it is like somewhat secure, okay, then I think we are good to go. So it's about like two thousand six hundred thirty one uh, euros. So if we go on the exchange, okay, exchange USD to euros currently. Okay, you can get about $2,995. So, going right here, okay, you have 44,000 giga hashes. Okay, that's 44 tera hashes. 1,980 draw power. And remember, give or take, the average for the United States, you have the 1% pool fees, the, you know, the price of the hardware, and the Bitcoin price. Okay, now the Bitcoin price keeps changing. Okay, it's nearly near to the 500 it's 508 more profitable <laughs> okay let's calculate that okay and it will take you about 510 days to generate one BTC to break even that would be 2755 days so this break even thing okay it will change a lot because the Bitcoin mining difficulty on the Bitcoin mining algorithm will change a lot okay because we all know you know Bitcoin mining pools and Bitcoin mining farms like you know just bitcoin mining everywhere and especially in china i'm not sure if still they're up or something they are really taking the difficulty okay up now i'm not sure that i'm talking about the difficulty right now i need to check the difficulty just in a moment so basically yeah you're going to make five cents profit hourly now daily you're making one dollar now this is not bad for the people that are living in places like you know in third world countries because one dollar a day that's like you know hundred dollars to us or something so one dollar a day okay for them is better but also the cost of the miner okay the ASIC the Bitcoin mining ASIC 
is also different. So the next minor is the nano, the eight nano, forty-four terahashes per second. Now this one is one point twenty-two profitability. Last time I checked, which is not more than an, you know thirty minutes ago. Okay, here you have this minor. Uh, which one? One point sixty. Now we've gone down to one point twenty-two. So. Uh, yes per day and this is the same thing okay shot to 56 algorithm bitcoin mining algorithm 44 terahashes per second okay and 2100 uh, 2, watts so the difference here is that you know uh here it takes like less power okay it takes about 1980 give or take of course and here give or take so uh here on bitcoin mining cave okay we have this miner now it's it costs about four thousand eight hundred twenty nine dollars and I checked because there is like you know the Canadian dollar and with Canadian it's like about six thousand something you know but I don't use like the Canadian dollar so I'm not really you know onto it okay the SHA-256 miner now I don't understand why they say that will allow you to mine the most popular digital currencies on the EchoHash algorithm and a multitude of, of currencies so will it help you mine bitcoin or will it only help you to mine you know on equihash because on equihash it's a whole another story okay now it says that it's shot to 56 so i think i need to take their word on it maybe it's like a multi-minor thing so anyways here we go and calculate it 12 cents okay average of the united states the cost of hardware one percent pool fees 2100 watts check all that on and we are going to get okay the 6500 days to break even opposed to you know 2755 days so the days of bitcoin mining on a laptop is over to be honest at this stage as you can see you are making about 74 cents profit daily now of course this is worth 12 cents if we remove the 12 cents factor, say you are, you know, uh, a college student or something like that, you are going to get, you know, a higher profitability. At least you're going to get like $6.86 a day. Okay, you're going to break even really fast, but of course that will come at the cost of electricity. Now, the thing is here is that, you know, in third world countries, also there are different prices of electricity. So maybe they can get cheaper or higher, depends on the country and the situation that they are in. So uh, yes, on to the least profitable one and still not shipping till January 2019. By then I expect this profitability okay, goes under a dollar when we do the Bitcoin mining review okay, next month as always. As you can see the T343T from InnoSilicon mining SHA-256 algorithm. 43 terahashes per second for a power consumption of 2100 watts okay now here i found a version of it on bit block forge okay it's about 2500 dollars if we go right here okay one percent 12 cents 43 okay 2100 all things set of course these also change with shipping and vat fees and all that stuff so basically yeah the profitability of the three miners that we looked onto today are really close now like preferably what would i choose to be honest i would choose this new miner because i think it mines like multitude of cryptocurrencies if that is now here it shows you the mineable coins it does not show that it's mining 256 i mean it shows that you're mining on the equihash algo so something is not correct right here but as I said, you know, unless you have like solar Bitcoin mining, you know, solar power to Bitcoin mine, okay, or Bitcoin mining, unless, you know, you have like some, ty some type of, you know, a farm, okay, in China, okay, Bitcoin mining farm in China, and you buy like thousands of Bitcoin mining ASICs, okay, then you'll get like economies of scale, you know, cheaper electricity, all that stuff. Fact is, Bitcoin mining is not possible. Okay, but other cryptocurrencies mining is possible because you have, you know, enormous hash rates going on networks. Okay, just like mining on Siacoin, it's about $17 profitability. It, the first time it launched, it really was really big. As you can see, it just increased a bit. Also, you have the miner that we'll never forget, the Z9 Mini. A lot of people are wide already on it. Okay, I'm not sure where it is in the list. 
okay it's still right here okay 2.37 dollars profitability a day still not bad so i think you know some people are saying gpu mining is dead or anything related to that but some people are saying that bitcoin mining is also dead so i think we are going into a new you know phase of mining and it is you know mining with asics on different algorithms i think this will be the long-term future now for gpus my you know expectations are going to just mine smaller coins you know jumping from here to there accumulating you know decimals of coins okay and since difficult difficulty is dropping okay and you can mine so you can make more profitability what I want to really just say is that if you want to learn how to start Bitcoin mining or you really want a Bitcoin mining explained video, comment down below. Other than that, guys, I think it's pretty straightforward that mining Bitcoin is worth it for the people that have electricity. Okay, costs are less than 12 cents. I mean, I'm just curious, you know, let's see what uh, Ice Rock Mining would be doing. That's if they still up, you know. Let's see how much of their profitability. Ooh, days to break even, about 558 days. So, uh, Ice Rock Mining, if you're watching this video, I suggest you go and buy this uh, eBank thing. At least don't burn your investors. That's the least thing I want to see in the cryptocurrency market. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video from BitTruth, your host, Mark Luther. See you guys on the next video.